You create a Power Automate flow, and inside it, you add an apply to each action. And all of a sudden, inside that apply to each, whatever you add, you want to get a reference to the current item in the apply to each, and all of a sudden, you don't find it. This is something that I have covered it here and there as just part of a separate video that even I cannot even recall it. And now that even the new or modern designer, as they call it, is out, it added a little bit more to the confusion. So I decided to make this short video and close this issue once and for all. Let's get into it quickly because it's interesting but short. Unlike my other videos, this is going to be short. I'm not going to show you a slide, PowerPoint, or anything else. It's very simple. We have a manually triggered flow. It has nothing inside it. So this guy is completely blank. It's just a button that the user will push and something will happen. I also have a variable of type array. So inside this array, I have four dummy emails. And now let's work with it. I want to put this variable, which is array, inside an apply to each. And inside SharePoint, I created a dummy list and I want to insert all those emails inside this list. So naturally, I go to Power Automate. I go to add an action and I want to say create item. And under SharePoint, I pick create item and I just add it inside apply to each. All right, I need to pick the YouTube demo, which is the site that I have here. The list name is ArrayList. I come here and I pick ArrayList. There we go. And I need to come back here and for the apply to each, I need to select where it should get the values from. And I can simply come here and I say, give me the value from the var email list. There we go. So naturally, when I come back here inside create item, let's say I want to add the title here. And for the title, I want to get the current item from apply to each and insert it here. So I can simply say, look for current item. Sorry, it doesn't find it. Uh, let's scroll down. Uh, no, it doesn't give me that. But we know we are inside an apply to each, and we know that the current item is a string, so we can simply add it to the title. We cannot here. So what are we going to do? In this case, the first thing that you want to do, first of all, save this guy. Fantastic. It's saved. Boo, Microsoft, you messed up something because you were not supposed to save it. Title is required inside SharePoint, so it was supposed to complain, but it doesn't. Doesn't matter. I click on this drop down and I switch to Classic Designer. Now, when I'm in Classic Designer, if I click on Apply to Each, and if I click on Create Item now, and I go to Title, under Title, let me just make it a little bit smaller. Here, if I scroll down, I will find the current item. So I always say this new designer is still incomplete. So wherever you get stuck, probably it's a good idea to save it and switch to Classic View. Who cares? Let me just save it. We're good. Let's test it and it's going to work. Right? Test. Happy. Continue. Run flow. And done. It looks happy. Let's go back to the SharePoint list. Refresh. And boom, we are done. This is one simple trick. So the first step, if you're working with a new designer, if you cannot find the current item, switching to classic view probably is going to solve your problem in probably 60, 70% of the cases. But there are some cases that that doesn't do the job. So let me come back here. And this time, instead of creating item, let me just get rid of it. I don't need that anymore. We already added it. Now, inside this apply to each, let me use send email v2, right? And now I want to send email to any one of those variables, array members that I have here. So I should send email to A1, A2, A3, and A4. And let's see if we can get it here. I click on this one. I click on Add Dynamic Content. And I get this one here. Now, sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes it says, no, 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 no. I'm specifically looking for email. What the heck is this current item? In cases like this, 
that you have an action here inside apply to each and you cannot find the current item inside that action it doesn't matter which one in that case the solution is very simple the first element inside apply to each just add an action called compose all right compose should be the very first one inside apply to each so because i cannot add anything before email i add it after that and after that i just drag the email and put it after the compose so compose becomes first then inside compose i will get the current item now compose is one of those actions that no matter what type the current item is it easily accepts it so we can simply put it here and then after that we go to the email and we want to put the current item here so i can simply come here and under dynamic content let's assume that you don't see the current item but you always see the compose and you can capture the output from it and do the job just like that you can get over the issue that you cannot find the current item inside apply to each i have seen this problem many times at not even a single case compose failed me i hope it's going to solve the problem that you searched and found this video hoping to get the answer all right that was it. Like, subscribe, get back to work. You have a lot of work to do. I'll see you soon in the next video.